and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Today we're going to take a look at something that is very, very interesting. It is about Amanda Wynn Lee again. But what she does in this is actually something truly spectacular of an idiot. So, Nade actually tagged me in this yesterday, so we got the VDS, Victor Ain Syndrome of KV. And what it is, it's regarding someone in Hawaii Con. So we're going to look at Mikel Casanova. So this is what he said. I was supposed to interview Amanda Wynn Lee on my Hawaii podcast, the Casanova podcast. But when she found out I interviewed VM in person at Hawaii Con, along with several other high profile voice actors, her and those other voice actors sent several threats to me via DM and private Facebook. That's when I saw how unhinged and crazy a lot of these voice actors are. Incredibly, out of touch with reality. V is an awesome guy and honestly it's depressing to see what these people have done to him and anyone who doesn't go along with their narratives. After seeing this, I'm grateful I never interviewed this deranged woman. And other people started replying to him. Imagine if you didn't interview her, you could have landed with a false accusation. Dodged a bullet there. And Mikel went back with, dude, if you saw the threat she sent me, I defo dodged a bullet. Do you still have screenshots of these messages anywhere? That would be interesting as hell to see. I keep all the receipts, my friend. Link, please, asking for a friend. Well, now, more proof of their toxicity. You ought, you ought, to, set, ought to release them. I'm friends with Nick Ricada and showed him most of it while we were at Hawaii Con together. It ain't that simple as to just release this kind of information. I keep the receipts from these actors, but once this goes out fully, they will strike back and in full force. And they go after your family and everything you do. And I'm just a small channel. It's a game of patience and planning when it comes to these people. Which is very, very true. Because just because they found out that he, Mikel, he interviewed VM probably you know, all the other people there as well. And just because they they found out that he done one with VM, they literally went out of their way to actually harass and threaten someone. What's wrong with these people? When you see this sort of thing now, it makes a lot of people go, right, okay, something fishy is definitely going on and they have an agenda, which we all know what that is. And that is basically, if you don't follow us and what we want, we're going to make it false accusations. We're going to call you everything under the sun. We're going to use buzzwords so people don't hire you. And we're just generally going to ruin your life. And to say, Mikel, he's got all the proof as well. We are just going to wait for this because I personally do think he will release it in the future because it wouldn't surprise me if Amanda Winley and all these other people now, because this has happened, even in the comment section below, you got people supporting Amanda and all, like, oh yeah, well where is it then? And they're trying to goad him into it. But again, this is what those type of people do. They think they got one over everyone, but they haven't. The way they act towards people is to harass and to dox them and to basically just bully them off a platform. When you're a small channel as well, take it from me, there's a lot of things you have to look into before you even decide to post a video. Sometimes if a bigger channel and you're talking about them, or even if it's about someone who's got a lot of pull at certain areas, you don't want to go against them at the moment because say they flag a video and you get a strike or whatever, and even if you, you, know, you appeal that strike, you have to give your address and name or whatever over, but then you also have to go to court if it does get that far, because that then is gonna cost you quite a bit of money. And from a small channel, it's not gonna work properly. If you're a bigger channel, it's like, yeah, come on then, let's play ball and uh, you know who's gonna back down first which is what a lot of these people seem to try and do. They think because they're a B or C or D or even a Z list X voice actor, they think they have pull, but they don't. Not when it comes to Amanda Wynn Lee and her little batch of cronies. Hell, even Monica and Jamie, you haven't really seen much of them recently, have you? And the way that these people go about telling these other people, you must do this, or you had him on, so I'm gonna threaten you. It's like, what the hell is wrong with you? Saying that sort of line and going towards people saying, oh, you interviewed him? Well, I'm not gonna join you. I'm not gonna come and be interviewed by you. Are these people going to say that to like, io9, 
Anime News Network, sadly, and all these other places who have done interviews with VM, but they're still going to go on there. Uh, yes, they are. But because Mikkel is a small channel, that's why they think they can get away with it. But they can't. Mikkel, all you can say, mate, you got everyone behind you on this. You release it, everyone's got your back, everyone will look out for you, and we will just try and take these people down as much as we can. Because this is wrong. Look at me yesterday. They flagged, well, she flagged one of my videos because I mentioned that she was drunk. Because I read a tweet that said she was drunk. You want even my tweet. That's the kind of people that these are. You know, they, they don't like the truth getting out there. And obviously with a video out there as well, Amanda Winley doing her joke roast in session. Yeah, everyone's not taken too kindly to it because of her. And she, you know, she is backpedaling. She is trying to do damage control, which I think is absolutely hilarious because she is saying, oh, it's only jokes, it's only jokes. First of all, she's like, oh, I don't care. Which is actually kind of funny because to people like Montello and all these other people, she's like, I don't care, ha ha, whatever. But then to other people who are not in the circle, oh, they were only jokes. They were only jokes. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see you all, you wonderful people, soon.